weeks ago, I took a super impromptu trip down to Brighton for just a few hours, purely with the aim of getting back into shooting with my Mamiya RZ67. I also took along my Pocket 6K Pro and shot some footage of the trip, which I edited into a little cinematic short that is already out on my channel. I'll put a link in the description and a little card up top for anyone that may be interested in that. In total, I shot six rolls of film, all of them being port 400 and all of them being with my Mamiya RZ67 and the 90mm f3.5, which has definitely cemented itself as my favourite lens for the RZ67 and also all of my scans were done for me by my favorite film lab here in the UK, which is FilmDev. I'll put a link to them in the description for anyone who may be looking for a film lab. As for the Pocket 6K Pro, I simply carried that around with my Sigma 18 to 35 R lens and had it attached via a Peak Design clip to my bag. So all of the footage is totally handheld with zero rig on the camera. In total, I shot six rolls of film, all of them being Portra 400 and all of them being with my Mamiya RZ67 and the 90 mm f3.5, which has definitely cemented itself as my favorite lens for the RZ67. I'm gonna let the photos and video clips do a lot of the talking for this one. I don't think too much commentary by me will particularly add a lot to it, but if there is any particular photos that I really like or stick out to me, I'll share my thoughts on those. And I've tried to put the photos roughly in a chronological order of when I took them throughout the day, so you got an idea of my process as I went about shooting in Brighton. The day essentially consisted of me walking down the beachfront from where I'd parked, going all the way down to the pier, and ended up taking my last photos at the pier before heading back to my car. I probably only walked literally a mile, maybe not even that, but there was just so much to take photos of and so much that I found myself drawn to that I ended up shooting all six rolls of film in such a short space of time. Along the beach, I ended up stopping at a fair few spots, playing around with compositions of people sat on the beach, landmarks out at sea, and just any light and shadows that caught my eye as I walked down to the pier. And of course, I snapped a few photos of the remnants of Brighton's West Pier out at sea. These photos of the Lifebuoy ring are some of my favourites that I took. The bright orange of the ring just stands out so well against the background and the balance between that in the foreground and the pier in the background make for a lovely image in my personal opinion. Definitely a few of the images that I really like from this trip.
Eventually, as I got closer to the pier, I couldn't resist going underneath and taking some photos of the sun that was shining through the supports underneath. Personally, I think that these are some of the weaker images that I shot on the day. I think it was maybe just a little too early and it hadn't reached that golden hour light just yet. And for me, the images just don't work in my personal opinion. Perhaps if it had been a few hours later and there was a little bit more golden light and the shadows had got a little bit longer, they'd have worked a bit better, but I'm not a massive fan of how they turned out personally. But when I headed up to the top of the pier, the sun had got that little bit lower in the sky and the light had started to pour across the pier in a much more pleasing way. I ended up just taking a lot more photos and video than I had expected to up on the top of the pier. These first two images are maybe my two favorites of the whole entire day. The way the light falls on all of the subjects in these two images is just so pleasing to me and they both give me a great sense of calmness and balance to the composition. From there, I ended my day shooting at the end of the pier at the amusement park. Although it still wasn't actually golden hour at this point, the sun had just about gotten low enough to create some great light streaks coming through and some really long shadows going throughout the amusement park. And I'm super happy with how these turned out. Taking these two cameras around, it was a pretty interesting experience as I knew I wanted to get a video shot of each still image that I took with the Mamiya RZ67 so that it would make for a better YouTube video. And so a lot of the time I found myself taking images of compositions that I perhaps traditionally shoot with my video camera and also taking some video footage of compositions that I'd normally be gravitated towards as still image shots. There's actually a pretty fascinating video by George on the Negative Feedback channel, which I'd assume the majority of my viewers are already aware of, where he discussed shooting video as though it was still photography. I'll also link to that in the description for anyone who hasn't seen it. It's a great watch and I'd thoroughly recommend. Looking back on the trip, although I perhaps wasn't aware of it at the time and wasn't actively and consciously shooting like this, I think that this is largely what the trip ended up being. I shot both photo and video and I was forcing myself to think about compositions for both mediums. And I think that really forced me out of my comfort zone and I think made for some great images that I perhaps wouldn't have shot otherwise. I think there's a certain sense of calmness and stillness to the Mamiya RZ67 images that perhaps came somewhat as a byproduct of bringing my Pocket 6K Pro with me and I think replicating these still shots in video format also made for some very interesting cinematography. There's a chance that I'd have taken similar photos if I hadn't taken a video camera and vice versa from a video sense but I definitely think that they had an effect on one another even if I wasn't consciously aware that that was what's happening at the time. All of those images I personally believe would have been better 
better had they been taken during the actual golden hour also. I had to leave Brighton before the sun got super low in the sky. I was pretty much driving home through golden hour and through sunset. And so for a lot of the images, I think that they'd have really benefited from being taken just those hour or two hours later in the day. But for some of the images that are a little less contrasty and rely heavily on the saturation of the sky and the depth of medium format film to create that sort of look and that good image that I wanted, maybe they actually benefited from it being more so in the middle of the day. Overall, I'm very happy with the results of this day. I definitely got a few images that I am proud of and as a group and a collective, I think that these are some of the best images that I've put out on the channel to date. And the bonus was that I had a really nice and just relaxing time, just going out, being totally in my element, just with myself and a couple of cameras, enjoying the sun, thinking about taking pictures and video and having nothing else to worry about. That was super peaceful and relaxing and really great to get back into shooting with the RZ67. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, feel free to hit the like button and let me know any of your thoughts down in the comment section below. And if you perhaps wanna see some more of my content, feel free to consider subscribing to support the channel going forward. Stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.